how I structure my WCTK projects. Uh, this is my own personal way of structuring things. So just keep that in mind. So this is a normal AWS CDK project that you can create running this following command. So you will create an empty directory and going inside the directory, if you run this command, uh, you will get uh, a project structure that will look something like this. Uh, the first folder to look at is our bin file or the bin folder. Inside this folder, we have our main file which contains your app and all of the stacks. Um, I mean, uh, not all of the stack codes, you will initialize all, all of the stacks inside this file. Uh, under the lib folder, you will have all of your actual stacks that you usually use, uh, uh, various stacks that you will need in your AWS CDK project. And yeah, that's about it. So uh, one thing that bothers me is uh, if uh, this is our root file, why we call this folder as bin, I'm not sure. Uh, most probably it's uh, because of binary or something like that and uh, if this is our stacks files stack files why why don't you call this folder as stacks so uh, let me show you how i structure my cdk projects so this is one of my projects and uh, let me show you what i have done here so uh, as i am a full stack developer using node.js and react.js i i am very familiar with that particular project structure and as I am uh, using TypeScript uh, in my CDK projects as well, that's why I like to structure my projects uh, that will look familiar uh, to a, something like a basic Node.js application. So what I do is I have my own uh, source folder. So you can ignore these folders. For example, idea VS Code. Uh, these are just generic folders. So I can just delete this, right? I can also delete these Node modules for now. So I will have basically two folders. One is source, which is our main folder, which is usually the main folder in on Node.js projects. Inside this source, I have my index.ts file. So this index.ts file will contain my app and everything else, uh, just like we see inside our bin folder, which is our root file. And in this structure, index.ts is my root file. But uh, you have to be careful when you are using this structure because you have to change some things, for example, you have to go to package.json and under this bin you have to define which file our, you are using as the root file for example if we look at our traditional file we can see that we are pointing to the bin slash aws lambda snsdk.ts or js file right uh, similarly you have to modify in another place in order to run the cdk project properly if you go inside cdk.json you will notice that inside this app we have pointed we are pointing towards the appropriate uh, root file which uh, the appropriate root file for this cdk project so uh, keep that in mind if you want to follow uh, if you want to change your root file uh, from uh, the default file under the bin to something else you have to point towards the proper file yeah so that's about it that's the root file and uh, i have several other folders here and from the name you can clearly understand what's going on so config contains all of my configurations constructs is uh, uh, usually the reusable constructs that i use uh, for uh, for various of my stacks uh, uh, lambdas is usually the folder where where i keep my lambda functions because uh, when uh, we are uh, especially when i am working with aws cdk i mostly work with lambdas as uh, my day-to-day -day job uh, under the stacks folder uh, understandably we will have all of your stacks under the utils you will have your utils so uh, that's the project structure that i follow uh, it works for me it's very intuitive for me and yeah let me know if you have any opinion about this thanks for watching